to go a little further down. This has this little thread, but it also has a little button there for fast action. I'm going to drill the holes an inch and a quarter and we'll end up with a at least a one inch mortise. We'll just see how it ends up. Quite often the bottom is too chunky to, and it's difficult to get it flat when you're trying to clean out side grain because the grain fibers are all attached in this direction. And so when you go into the chisel to clean out the bottom, you, you've got to peel them off. And so you just take the little beeper and dump all the way down? With yeah, the and do as best you can, but it's not hypercritical. Now you can have a, a mortise coming in from the other side on that too, right? Yes. But this is kind of hugging the outside surface, and so the other one will too. Okay, so they might meet, but that's no they big might deal. Meet. That's okay. no big deal. Okay. The first two holes will be the two end holes, and then your subsequent holes will be spaced so that they're not overlapping, and that way you get clean holes all the way down. Could you just put a router good in and go back and forth in between? That's method two, which we'll do on your router table. And oh, I, but I mean on that, even. Yes, and the, the drill, we'll, we'll sort of drag the drill bit a little bit okay. and, and simulate that. About a thousand RPM. chisel is what's sacred, so it's a good habit to get into to leave it so that the edge is protected rather than like so. All those years I used my dad's for a screwdriver, probably mm -hmm. a good idea. <laughs> Opening paint cans and stuff. way is a little easier than this way. Cutting this way, we're severing the, the fibers going across the grain. And that breaks out easy. A lot easier than going this way. Use as wide a chisel as you can comfortably fit in there. favorite theater soon? <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> can I add a soundtrack? It's going to be disco. You can write music for it. Ted's a fine musician. Ted's really good. 
He's secretly hoping for a scream and a lot of blood. You know, so. <laughs> It's like that guy on public television that does all the hand tool stuff. Oh, Roy Underhill? Yeah. That guy. He's always bleeding. He's always <laughs> coming back <laughs> himself. And, you know, and he'll keep going and he's got blood dripping on stuff. He cracks me up. He cracks me up. Have you met Roy? Yes, he is so funny. <laughs> is he a nice man? Yes, he, he is. He seems like a really nice man. Yes. Um, that, that's not a, a screen persona. That's the real guy. I was trimming a tree from my, the balcony of the house at the beach. And, Cleaned over too far. And that's three eighths wide. So I'm going to take off, got that adjusted higher. I'm going to take off about a sixteenth from each side. And we'll see how that does. Table I had attached to myself, but I took off headlines. Oh, wow. So you just push on that a little bit more.